but it is looking good. All this fresh fruit and produce uh, and some fine workers here doing their bit early in the morning to make sure everyone is fed and fed very well. Well, Jason Hendricks runs and owns Golden Fruit, which is a family owned and operated business since dad started it back in 1954. Yeah, mate, a long time ago. So yeah. and you've had quite a challenge on your hands in the last sort of two years. Mate, it's been very difficult actually. The last well, six months have been extremely hard. Yeah, how are yeah. things looking now? Uh, well, this week's been hard, but you know, looking positive now. We've got some beautiful uh, stone fruit coming up and fabulous citrus around. Excellent. Oops, sorry. So, you guys service, uh, you know, all the green grocers, the hospitality industry as well, and that is great to see these guys coming back online. Mate, we do, and um, it is good to see them back on the floor. All right. Um, just need to see people get back out, you know, in restaurants and bars and consume. So. Yeah. Fabulous. All right, well, it looks and it smells great in here as well. Guys, we'll see you with much more from City Markets coming up. Can you smell it from here. Yes. Thank you, Tim. No flowery apples there. <laughs> Well, Abu Dharaj has had Gourmand Providor for 28 years. He's a very proud part of the Sydney Markets family here this morning. Just to give everyone an idea, we have all the market section over there with all the fresh food and produce. We have made our way over here, the other side of the markets, where we find the Providors. You've got your market agents that find all that fresh food, and then they bring it to you. And then, Abu, what do you do with it? Okay, good morning. Welcome to Sydney Markets. Thank uh, you. Good to see everyone. And it's, uh, we, we, we love the place. It's yeah. always, uh, always like picking and... Uh, and exciting in the morning. There is a challenge. So what I do, and I am the one that do the buying for, for, for my company. So I am here every every morning on the on the floor. You are a busy man. But in this room over here, we've got people cutting and preparing, peeling. They're doing all the hard yakka, getting ready for cooking. Uh, not only do they get all that fresh food and produce, they then turn it in. So that is all ready to go off to the hospitality industry. You've got the people that you provide, restaurants, uh, hospitals as well, aged care facilities, Abood? Yes, yes. Fabulous. All right, so you give them all that. You've done all the hard work, you and your team. We love that. Uh, like we, we have dedicated team that are happy, happy and enjoy what they're doing. Most of my guys are from hospitality industry, ex-chefs ex and, and working in the... Abood yeah. runs a wonderful market tour as well. So when COVID restrictions end, make sure you come and check yeah. out all those things that he's got on offer. Yeah. That's yes. not an emoji. This is an emoji. Well, like big fruit. That's oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Leaving that alone. Thank you, Tim. Is <laughs> it? mean something. Don't ask. Just yeah. let it go. This morning we're waking up at the Sydney Markets which is roaring back to life now that uh, restaurants and businesses around the city are reopening. So in half an hour we're going to check out one of the flower markets. There's a huge selection. Put your bets on now Alex on uh, what our favourite flower is going to be for the season as we approach Christmas. I'll see you in half an hour with much more. I hope you're grabbing some for your mum there too Tim. <laughs> We are in the flower market at Sydney Markets this morning and it is very, very busy in here, which is great to see. Hey, I want to introduce you to Vicky Dominello, who has been here at the Sydney flower market for 30 years. But get this, you look amazing, not only for that, that you've been doing this for 30 years. Vicky's alarm clock, it goes off at 12.22, that's precise. That is early. I thought my alarm was early. Vicky, how do you do it? How do you look so good? Well, the alarm goes off and you get out of bed. It's just like any job, I suppose. You, you, you love don't what think you about do. It. Absolutely, that I makes love a what difference. I do. Hey, listen, tell us what what's it been like here? Things are looking things are looking okay today. Things it looks are good. looking, you know, COVID's thrown a challenge to us, yeah. um, but most of the growers have stepped up to the challenge yes. and tried to um, supply the florists who have been doing the local florists have been doing a fabulous job, and it, and it's kind of like COVID's reminded me a little bit like. Um, a lily or a flower through COVID you know everything's you know all locked up and everything just like a bloom and now we've got spring yeah. and they're starting to open up each day like a bloom it opens up a bit more oh. everyone's feeling happier and happier what a beautiful analogy until we get to da -da. Da -da. <laughs> hey we love that um support your local florists absolutely. as well absolutely you know support your local florists because most local florists now are looking for local flower growers yeah. Um, and so that's what we're trying to do. You know, we're local flower, fl we are local fl flower growers from Central Coast. Yep. Um, so you know, it's important that people know where their flowers come from. Yes. And but Sydney markets is just an array of beautiful flowers anyway. Oh uh, well, it made like I said, it made me feel instantly better walking in yeah, here because it's, it's so what bright and colourful. And then today, you, you're yeah. so lovely as well. But yeah, support local while you can. Um, we love that. Congratulations to you and everybody you. in here that has been working tirelessly, tirelessly to cheer us all up. Very quickly, I've got a few loves of my life: uh, Ali, Lara, 
Brook, uh -huh. Alex, for you as well. What, uh, I, what would you recommend? What's in season? What's good? Look, at the moment, lilies. You know, we grow in the Central Coast the are beautiful. Lilies. Dahlias so, are beautiful. Like Some of the local roses are fabulous that are coming out now. Okay. So you've got an array of different things that you can choose from. All right. Yeah, potluck, guys. Let's see what you get. <laughs> Done. Will you buy yourself some flowers, Tim? I believe there's a special event happening this weekend. Talk about that later, nah. okay? Ooh. Nah, that's all right. I know everything, my <laughs> friend. You know that. Yeah, you do. <laughs> do tell oh, Tim. Yeah. Chat oh. in the next half hour. Who's at the wonderful Sydney markets for us this morning? You had flowers before, Tim. What have you got this time? Oh, well, things are starting to just ease off a little bit because it is hectic here first thing in the morning. These guys are pretty much up throughout the, the night and uh, sell a lot of produce to the public and also the wholesalers as well. So things starting to quiet down a little bit in here, which is nice. So it means that we can really start to appreciate some of that fresh food that we are seeing on offer here. Well, no one does fresh better than the fresh fellas and Sean McInerney joins me now here at Sydney Markets, one of the fresh fellas. Good morning. Hello, my friend. Nice to see you. Thank you. Thank you. This stuff looking lovely. We're starting to get into that period where we can all enjoy those sort of summer foods well, seasonal what's on the offer at the moment what's what's in season you're right most of our vegetables are really quite reasonably priced at the moment we're just around the corner from really hitting the straps in our stone fruit season Yum. which is our yeah, peaches our nectar and not yes. too far away cherries our plums and peach and uh, apricots etc uh mangoes mangoes yes i can smell them yeah they are lovely at the moment yeah and that the, right there is the smell of summer and they'll, they'll only become more plentiful as the season goes on so yeah that is the taste of summer isn't it we love that now yeah. recovery wise how are we looking post covid um, okay, so supplies not too bad uh, across the board. There's a few little lines that it's a bit sketchy, but across the board not too bad. The guys who are involved in the food service, the guys who supplies the clubs, the restaurants, they've been at a standstill. Yes. And thankfully, a little bit of optimism. We're starting to see a little bit of momentum. I think that's why I was so busy here this morning. Yes. Absolutely, yeah. Maddox, with all yeah. the, the forklifts running around. Very quickly as well, um, quite strange this story. <laughs> you have something that you'd like to pass on to me, to pass on to Carl, who isn't with us today. He's lost his voice, but this will take your breath away. <laughs> What have you got? A long time ago, down in Fredbo on holidays, I found a wallet. And it just so happened to belong to Carl Stefanovic. Oh! The one and only. Now, I know you did try to return this. What's in it? It is actually his. And guys, I just is started going through it because that's what we do. We're all family. Um, there, <laughs> yeah. is, there is the corporate is channel by American Express. <laughs> so there's that one. No, there's no... Is his no Medicare card? The one that I found really interesting his was his Medicare the card. <laughs> enforcement <laughs> it's it? not here, the Medicare is not. Um, but the Drug Enforcement Administration from the Han Han San Jose Resident Office. Carl owes me one since I threw out the incriminating stuff. You are oh. special <laughs> marshal. Why have you got that, Carlos? I don't know. Anyway, we're going to bring that back. Thank you, Sean. All the we'll very make best. sure that that finds its rightful owner with some explaining to do. Mm. Mr. Stefanovic, yeah. I know you're watching.